If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Okay, so I used to work at the Apple store uh, and this gentleman sat down at the Genius Bar and he asked for the restroom and I was like, the restroom's in the back, go ahead and use it. So he went to the back. Uh, keep in mind, this gentleman was wearing all white. He was wearing white pants, white long sleeve. Um, little did I know that uh, when he was in the restroom, he, he took a poop in the urinal um, and he came back out like nothing happened. And then my manager was like, hey, I think your customer just took a shit in the urinal. And I was like, Oh, okay. Um, so I never thought that I'd have to tell a grown man uh, wearing all white that he shouldn't poop in the urinal. I thought that was like a given. Um, but I guess not. I'm just here to educate. If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Boy, I've been waiting on this one. A lady came into a bank that I used to work at yelling, cussing, screaming, talking about we stole her money from her. So after a long time, we finally get to pull up her account after she calmed down enough to give us her account number and her ID. So I pull up her account and I'm like, ma'am, you withdrew all this money from the ATM and you overdrafted your account on purpose. She's arguing, no, I withdrew that money from the ATM. I withdrew that money from the ATM. I withdrew it from the ATM. And I'm like, yes, the money in your account you withdrew from the ATM. She literally didn't understand what I was talking about. So I showed her the transactions all the ATM transactions. And she's like, no, that's not supposed to come out of my account. It's supposed to come out of the ATM. And I'm like, yeah, the ATM that accesses your account when you withdraw the money. Bruh, she thought the ATM money was free. I put that on everything. She thought the If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? I'll go. That the front desk agents at a hotel are not a babysitting service. This old white couple checked in and said, hey, can you guys watch our baby? And we were like, no, no, we cannot. They said the front desk people at their last hotel watched their baby. I was all like, well, that's not in our job description. So no, they checked into their hotel and they came by really dressed up later on that night. I was like, how can I help y'all? They said, we want to go out and there's no one to watch our kid. I was all like, okay. And they said nothing. They started to chuckle and they walked away and they got into the elevator. And I was like, okay, whatever. And I hear breathing on the other side of the desk. Tell me how they left their child when they were talking to me. They tried to pull a fast one on me because I was working by myself. I said, that's fine. There's a little non-emergency contact number that we can call for our hotel. So I called that number and said, there's a missing child. If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Hey, welcome to Olive Garden. My name's Michaela. I'll be taking care of y'all today. What drinks can I get out for y'all? Yes, I'll have a sweet tea and my daughter will have a strawberry daiquiri. <sighs> Do you mean a virgin daiquiri? No, if I meant a virgin daiquiri, I would have ordered a virgin daiquiri. Well, it, it's just we can't sell alcohol to minors. I'll have you know that my family is from England and they're allowed to have alcohol. Totally understand, but unfortunately in the United States, the minimum age to purchase alcohol is 21. I don't see what the problem is. I'm her legal guardian, go get her a daiquiri. All right, ma'am, may I see her ID? Why would you need to see her ID? Well, I, I can't sell her alcohol if she's under 21. I've literally never heard of such a rule. It's been around since 1984. You know what? I think you're judging my parenting skills. I think you're telling me how I can and can't parent, and I want to speak to your manager right now. If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Thank you for calling customer service. We appreciate your frustration. My name is Sticks. How can I be of assistance? Your man has my bag. Pardon me? Well, when I arrived at your airport, the man in the parking lot said he accepted cash only to check passengers' bags in for them. And you paid him? Well, yes, we were in a little bit of a rush. Why wouldn't we take advantage of one of your convenient services? Because that ain't one of our convenient services. Come again? So a random man in the airport parking lot approached you and said he accepted cash only to take your bag. Why, yes. Doesn't he work for you? Was he wearing anything to imply that he worked for anybody? Any badges, a vest, something? So where's my bag? You paid somebody to steal it from you. If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Hi, welcome to the pet store. How can I assist you today? Yes, hi. I would like to get some fish to put in my living room. Sure, I can help you with that. What size tank were you thinking of? Oh, something small. We don't have that much space. I see. Well, that does limit your options a little bit, and you might have to clean it more often, but that's definitely doable. 
Uh, how can I make it so I don't have to clean it? That sounds like a lot of work. Well, ma'am, there are some things that you can do to reduce the amount that you have to clean your tank, but unfortunately you will have to clean it out sometimes because the fish poop will just build up over time and that's not good. Wait, fish poop? Yes. Since when do fish poop? Well, they are animals and you do have to feed them and when things go in one end, they gotta come out. Fish need to be fed? Uh, yeah? Customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? I don't eat lobster because it's alive when they kill it. I'll have a steak. Oh, buddy. How do you get all the boats in the harbor parked in the same direction? How, how? What's the name of this lake? That's the Atlantic Ocean. But the best, the ultimate winner. I had a man come into a restaurant I worked at and asked for drawn butter with his lobster. And I brought him some drawn butter with his lobster. And he was like, this isn't real butter. And I was like, sir, it is real butter. And he was like, can you melt a stick of butter and bring it out? And I was like, sure. So I melted a stick of butter and I brought it out. And he was like, I don't want this because it looks the same as the other stuff. And I was like, because that's also butter. This is butter. And he was like, can you take the little butter foils and unwrap them and melt them? Because that's real butter. So I did that. <laughs> and I brought it out. And he was like, this also looks the same. And I was like, because it's all fucking butter. I cannot help I you, sir. I can't help you. I can't help you. If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? This icy I just bought, I don't want it anymore. What? This icy is too cold. You want me to put it in the microwave? Okay, smartass, that's incredibly rude. How about you go get your boss? Yo. Hi, I just bought this icy from this gentleman and I want to return it because it's too cold. Well, ma'am, you can't return- wait, what? I said this icy is too cold. Bitch, you want me to put it in the microwave? If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? I got this one. I got it. Customer comes in and says, hi, I'd like to fax something. I go, okay, what's the fax number? They gave it to me. And I go, all right, and what are you faxing? She hands me $200 bills. I go, um, what are you doing? She goes, that's what I want to fax. I go, you can't fax money. You would have thought that I told her she's not allowed to breathe oxygen. What do you mean I can't? They, they need that money today. Uh, doesn't matter. This is just going to send a picture. Technically, it's counterfeiting. No, I just need to fax it to them. They're not going to get money. They'll get pictures of money. What do you mean? No, don't send pictures of money. Fax them the money. Y'all, this went on for 20 more minutes. She was 100% convinced that our machine was going to take the money, break it down into millions of little pieces, and send it on over. Just like Willy Wonka. Mm-hmm. If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Yeah, can I get an iced coffee? Um, but can you put the ice in the bottom? Do you, like, do you want ex extra ice? No, I just want the ice in the bottom. I don't like when it floats to the top. I, I can't control physics. If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Hey, welcome. How may I help you today? Hi, may I have one of these raspberry donuts? Sure thing. Do you want it in a bag or do you want it on a serviette to eat now? Um, I'll have it in a bag to take away, please. Yeah, yeah no worries. And do you want to pay by cash or by card? I'll just tap my phone if that's all right. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's ready for you. Bing. There we go. Thank you very much. Have yourself a good day. Thank you, you too. By the way, what is a raspberry? Well, it's a fruit, isn't it? If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Excuse me, I was here like four months ago and my whole order was wrong, so I'm gonna need a refund. Four months ago? Do you have a receipt? No, I don't have a receipt, but it was $40 and I paid in cash, so. Yeah, so I can't refund that without a receipt, um, but did you call us by any chance to let us know that your order was wrong? Yes, I talked to a manager named John. We've never had a manager named John, so unfortunately I can't help you. What do you mean you can't help me? You're just going to steal my money? I can't do a cash refund without any proof of purchase. Well, why not? You have a cash drawer. Why can't you open it and give me some money? I'm sorry, is this like a really bad robbery or what's going on? 
If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? So I used to work at a coffee shop and this lady came in and ordered a almond milk latte with whipped cream. And as I'm taking the order, she's telling me how she's lactose intolerant, blah, blah, blah. So I look at her and I said, are you sure you want whipped cream then? Because whipped cream is dairy. Like, I, I, why would you want whipped cream? And she tells me, oh, no, whipped cream is fine because it's non-dairy. And I said, no, like whipped cream is made with heavy whipping cream. It is like as dairy as dairy can get. And she says, well, when I go to the grocery store, I buy whipped cream and it's it's dairy free. And I said, well, that's whipped topping, not not whipped cream um, that's made with hydrogenated vegetable oil. That's a little bit different. She proceeds to scream at me, threatening to sue, saying that she's been having stomach problems for months and this is all our fault. Um and then this little old lady behind her taps her on the shoulder and says, Honey, it's not her fault. You're a fucking moron. If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Okay, so outside of my full-time job, I work part-time as a karting marshal. Basically these things. So before you're actually seated in the car, you will have had a video tutorial, a spoken tutorial to make sure you were paying attention to the video. You have a demo cart right there to demonstrate how the vehicle works. Then you have your chance to ask your questions. So if by now you're actually in the cart, having previously driven three of your friends to the venue in a real car, the last thing I want you to ask me is... So, uh, how do you steer? If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? I can't believe I forgot this one. Years ago, I had this woman come into my store. I go to put her bottles up on the counter so I can scan them, and she says, Oh no, you have to type in the number. You can't use lasers on there, it degrades the vodka. And I'm looking at her kind of funny, I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, well, I always keep my vodka in the freezer. And lately, it started to freeze, and, and my teenage son said it's because of the lasers. The lasers break down the vodka, and the molecules turn to water. I'm giving her a look, I'm like, are you sure your son's just not, you know, replacing it with water after he drinks it? Oh no, he's a good boy. He'd never touch alcohol until he's legal. And this woman would come in every now and then, and you would have to remember the number for her Smirnoff vodka, because you couldn't touch it because the lasers would break it down. Lasers. If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Okay, so like 15 years ago, I used to work at JCPenney in the mall, and this woman walks in one time with a cart full of stuff, which I thought was weird, because we don't have carts. And it was like already past closing time, but we hadn't like shut the big gate or whatever. And so she walks in, she asked me to like check her stuff out, and so I start using the little gun to do it, and I keep getting these error codes. So I try to type in the barcode instead, and that's when I look at the tags on all of her merchandise and I realized that they are from many, many, many different stores. And I was like, oh, none of this is from JCPenney. And she was like, yeah, like, I know, uh, check it out. <laughs> like, I'm ready to pay now. And I was like, no, ma'am, like, that's not how it works. Like, you can't pay for your Claire's stuff and your Walden book stuff and your Carson stuff at JCPenney. None of this is from JCPenney. Like, I cannot take this money. And like, you, you, ma'am, you stole this stuff. <laughs> If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Oh, I've been fucking waiting for this shit. I'm a bartender. I never thought I'd have to explain to somebody what the fuck is in a vodka crayon. I never thought I'd have to explain to somebody that when you order food, it doesn't come out three seconds after. And if you ask me why the people next to you got their food first, it's because they fucking ordered before you. I also never thought I'd have to explain to somebody that you don't get extra liquor because you winked at me. There's a lot of fucking things I thought I wouldn't have to explain to somebody that's fucking 40 years old but apparently there's a lot of things adults don't fucking know if you work in customer service what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult yeah um hi hello the concept of buy two get one free y'all don't understand the amount of adults i had to explain to about buy two get one fucking free like what's so hard to fucking grasp like Come to register talking about some, oh, why is the total so high? I thought it was buy two, get one free. I'm like, yeah, so you're buying these two, the other one will be free. Oh, well, you know, I thought it was buy two, get one free, like right now. First of all, bitch, with that dumbass logic, it will be buy one, get one free. And not only that, you decided your damn self, buy two, get one free. Yes, you're buying these two. So where the fuck is the other item for it to be free? I'm, I'm so lost right now, like. 
I mean, this one girl wanted to sit there and argue with me so bad, talking about something that's a bad deal. Well, Uno, first of all, buy two, get one free, been around since forever. So what are you talking about? Number two, you thought I care enough about this establishment to sit there and argue with you right now? Fuck you. Fuck you. Number three, you're broke. Like, just say that. Like,